Hi guys, we put air quality meters to the test from AirThings, Aware, Humai, and more to find the most accurate products. We researched more than 50 of the best CO2 and air quality meters available today before buying the 9 best for hands-on testing. We compared the readings of each model to professional-grade CO2 and air quality meters in multiple different settings to verify their accuracy. We also used each meter for multiple weeks to see how easily they could keep track of long-term air quality trends. Whether you're looking to monitor the CO2 levels in your home to make sure you have proper ventilation, or want a way to verify that your new air purifier is actually making a difference, we can help you find a great air quality meter. So, let's get started. Number 9, the HEI Liang Air Accurate Tester is a very simple meter that can monitor most of the common household air quality contaminants. It does this for far less than many of the competing models on the market. It also has an internal battery that allows it to be used without an outlet for up to 4 hours. This is one of the few air quality meters we've come across that measures carbon monoxide, but the lack of alarms means it cannot replace a traditional carbon monoxide detector. This meter is one of the simplest models we've tested, with nary a bell nor whistle to be found. It provides instantaneous measurements with no easy way to see averages or trends. More critical are the apparent inaccuracies we observed in our testing. For example, the AQI measurement seemed to be accurate at low particulate concentrations, but blowing out candles next to the meter didn't change the AQI reading at all, while the reading on our professional-grade air quality meter skyrocketed. The CO2 reading also differed from that of our professionally calibrated CO2 meter however, the CO2 reading was consistently 15-20% to higher than the reading on our pro meter, so we feel this device could potentially be helpful in providing a warning of rising CO2 levels. We aren't big fans of this product, but it could be a viable option for those who only want a simple device that can give an indication of CO2 concentration, the next is. Number 8, if you're only interested in tracking the CO2 levels in your home and would like some idea of how those levels change over the course of a day, the Hydrofarm Apsum 2 Autopilot offers a simple solution. In our tests, its CO2 measurements closely match those of our professionally calibrated meter, and you can view a simple graph of those measurements for anything from the last hour to the last week. You can also set an audible alarm to warn you when the CO2 concentration reaches a certain level though this device can provide a basic representation of the CO2 concentration over the last week, there's no easy way to save or export that data. Therefore, if you're one that likes to keep track of longer term trends, this may not be the meter for you. Additionally, this is one of the few meters that must be constantly plugged in. While most meters must be plugged in if you want to monitor for multiple days, the inability to temporarily place this device away from an outlet or continue to monitor in the event of a power outage is a slight disappointment. Overall, if basic CO2 trend tracking is all you need, this device fits the bill. The next is. Number 7, we were impressed with the accuracy of the Temtop M2000C during testing. It consistently returned measurements that were very close to those of our professional-grade air quality and CO2 monitors. You can access short-term graphs of each pollutant it measures going back as far as the unit has been turned on. You can also set custom alarms for each of those pollutants, providing an audible signal if they reach critical levels. The entire unit is powered via a rechargeable battery, allowing you to use the unit away from an outlet. All of these features make the Temtop M2000C perfect for monitoring air quality when working on a project that could produce airborne pollutants. The Temtop M2000C works great for short-term use, though it isn't the best for long-term monitoring. Using it for multiple days would require leaving it plugged in, but the charging port is annoyingly placed right next to the air sensor, making it hard to position correctly. The unit itself is shaped for handheld use, there is no easy way to place it somewhere in an easily readable position. However, for short-term air quality monitoring, the Temtop M2000C is an excellent choice. The next is. Number 6, for folks mainly interested in keeping an eye on CO2 levels, the Forensics Basic CO2 Meter offers simple, straightforward, and accurate monitoring. In our testing, it consistently read very close to our professionally calibrated CO2 meter, providing us with confidence in its accuracy. This meter is powered via a micro-USB cable and has an internal battery that can last up to 12 hours. The clear digital display conveys the current CO2 level, temperature, and humidity. 
You can also set low and high alarms to warn when the CO2 level moves above or below a user-defined threshold. This meter's biggest weakness is its specificity, it only measures CO2. Additionally, it lacks the ability to easily provide any longer-term trends or averages for its measurements. If your main concern is knowing when the CO2 concentration moves past a certain limit, we think the Forensics Basic CO2 meter is one of the simplest and most effective devices on the market. The next is Number 5, CO2 concentration can be a good indication of the ventilation in your home. More specifically, it can help you ascertain whether exhaled air is building up in your home or being properly ventilated. Therefore, in certain circumstances, keeping indoor CO2 levels low can help mitigate the risk of airborne virus transmission. If this is your main purpose for monitoring indoor air quality, we highly recommend the Gain Express wall mount. First off, the readings on this meter stayed incredibly close to those we saw on our professionally calibrated CO2 meter throughout our testing, giving us a high degree of confidence in its accuracy. Secondly, the convenient wall mount and large display allow it to be placed in an easily readable position. This negates the need to repeatedly check an app on your phone or constantly saunter over to the meter to keep an eye on CO2 levels. Thirdly, if you need help remembering to monitor CO2 levels at critical times, you can set custom alarms that will sound when the concentration reaches a particular level. Finally, if you're more interested in CO2 concentration trends and averages, this unit can quickly display averages for both the last 15 minutes and the last 8 hours. If you want to go further, the unit can be connected to a PC via an RS-232 connection for continuous data logging, the next is. Number 4, if you travel a lot and want to spot check the air quality in your hotel room, the Humai Advanced HI-150 is a great tool. This tiny monitor can easily fit in a front pocket and quickly boots up to provide a wide array of air quality measurements. The LCD screen is easy to read, and simple green, yellow, and red indicator lights provide a quick reference for the current air quality. The single button allows you to scroll through each of the provided measurements. Since this device is geared towards travel and periodic use, it doesn't provide any of the long or short-term trends and averages one might be interested in when using an air quality meter in their home. Additionally, it doesn't provide an actual CO2 concentration, just a good, moderate, or poor readout along with a small bar chart. Still, based on our comparisons between this and professional-grade air quality and CO2 meters, we think it can provide valuable peace of mind when traveling to areas where air quality may be an issue. The next is Number 3, the Ivelines Air Quality Tester provides reliable air quality monitoring at a significantly lower cost than many of the most popular models. It covers all the bases, offering two different particulate pollution measurements, as well as volatile organic compounds, formaldehyde, and CO2 measurements. We were particularly impressed with its PM2.5 accuracy, as throughout our tests it stayed almost in lockstep with our professional-grade air quality meter simple controls let you scroll through recent short-term averages for each measurement. These averages change based on the measurement, for example, the formaldehyde average is 60 minutes, while the CO2 and PM2.5 averages are 10 minutes. The color screen is easy to read regardless of lighting conditions. The built-in battery allows you to take measurements without power for up to 12 hours at a time, while we find the short-term averages provided by the Ivelines Air Quality Tester to be quite useful, they likely won't be sufficient for those interested in tracking long-term air quality trends in their home. Doing so would require labor-intensive manual tracking of the unit's readings. Additionally, this unit's CO2 readings were consistently more than 10% off from those of our professionally calibrated CO2 meter however, its CO2 readings were consistently 15% to 20% higher than expected, the next is. Number 2, when it comes to monitoring the air quality of your home, long-term trends and averages are often more telling than individual measurements. This is where the AirThings 2930 Wave Plus, one of our favorite air quality meters, shines. Its user-friendly app allows you to quickly scroll through 48-hour, weekly, monthly, and yearly averages, as well as trend graphs, for all of the contaminants it measures. It is also one of the few consumer meters on the market that measures radon, making it a good choice for those in high radon areas. If you don't want to constantly check your phone, you can set notifications for when individual contaminants reach critical thresholds. Alternatively, you can just wave your hand over the meter to get a simple green, yellow, or red summary of the overall air quality. 
This meter can run for many weeks on two AA batteries, meaning you can place it anywhere you'd like regardless of outlet access. Finally, it passed our basic accuracy test for CO2 monitoring. The biggest strike against this air quality meter is the lack of PM2.5 tracking, meaning it doesn't track the particulate air pollution associated with wildfires and other smoke. Additionally, the meter only communicates with your phone via Bluetooth, so you must be within 30 feet or so to download new data, the next is. Number 1, for those who want to track common air pollutants and CO2, we think the Aware Element Indoor is one of the most useful devices on the market. Within its associated app, you can easily track both the current air quality in your home as well as its long-term trends. You can also enable notifications for when individual air pollutants reach critical levels. The Wi-Fi connection allows you to access these measurements from anywhere with an internet connection, so you can check in and make sure your heater hasn't broken while on vacation. You can also choose to display the measurement of your choice on the front of the meter, allowing you to get an update at a glance. To top it all off, this meter easily passed our baseline accuracy tests for both PM2.5 particulate matter and CO2. Our main complaint about this model is that it only operates when plugged in, limiting placement in your home. Additionally, the LED display can be somewhat challenging to read, especially in brightly lit settings. Despite these minor gripes, we think the Aware Element Indoor Monitor is a valuable tool for tracking air quality in any home. So this is the best option for you to buy. Thank for watching this video. Please like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.